Hey guys, today we're going to make a delicious carrot, orange and smoked beurre blanc dish. First we're going to cook the carrots in a carrot peel salt crust. The trimmings we then use to make some beautiful carrot leaves. We're also going to make an orange peel cream, a dill oil and we're going to smoke our own butter and turn it into a wonderful beurre blanc. So, let's begin. First we're going to make the salt crust baked carrots. For that start by peeling 8 big carrots. Keep the peels and trimmings for later. Then cut off the sides. Now transfer 400 grams of the peels and trimmings into a blender and blend it for 1 minute. Then add 60 grams of egg white and blend it for another minute. After add 200 grams of Corée salt and blend it once more. Then add enough flour to bind everything together into a firm dough. I added around 100 grams. Once that's done, flour your worktop and roll out the dough till it's around 4 to 5 mm thick. Then roll the dough on a rolling pin and transfer it on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet. Lay all the carrots on top of the dough and then place 5 pieces of lime leaves on top. Now close it up as tight as possible and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for 1 hour. The carrot isn't going to be fully cooked, leaving you with a very nice texture. Once it's cooked, let it cool down for 5 minutes and then directly remove the dough. If you leave it too long, the carrots will become too salty. Now let it cool down in your fridge. After, slice 2 thirds of the carrot in small cubes, also known as brunoise. And keep them covered in your fridge for later. Now for the carrot leaves. First, mix 200 grams of the cooked carrots with 100 grams of orange juice, 100 grams of isomalt sugar, 80 grams of icing sugar, and 20 grams of glucose. Now blend this till completely smooth. Then transfer it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. Once it's cold, spread it on a leaf stencil. This one is from Mold Brothers. Make sure it's evenly spread and then gently remove the stencil. Now bake it at 120 degrees Celsius for one hour. After the hour, gently remove the leaves from the sheet and when still hot, shape it between a leaf press. Find a link in the description. Now keep them dry and covered for later. Then for the smoked butter. First, turn on your smoker or your barbecue. It goes without saying that my ventilation system is on point, otherwise I would suggest doing the barbecuing or the smoking outside. Then cut 250 grams of butter in smaller cubes and transfer them into a metal container. Place it on another metal container that's filled with ice cubes. Now add some smoke chips and let the butter smoke on a low heat for around one hour. Once it's melted, remove the butter from the heat. Mix it well and then let it set in your fridge. Now for the carrot and dill oil. First separate the leaves from the carrots. Pick enough carrot leaves for 20 grams of leaves. Then also add 15 grams of picked dill. Now transfer both herbs into a blender and also add 150 grams of a neutral oil. Here I use sunflower oil. Blend it till the oil is at 65 degrees Celsius. It will heat up from the friction. Here I tried a new blender and as you can see it was no success. So never use a blender where pressure can build up because then this might happen. So clean kitchen, new shirt and back to my trusted blender. Once the oil is at 65 degrees Celsius, pass it through a fine sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper to clarify it. Let it drain in your fridge. Now for the orange peel cream. First peel enough oranges for 100 grams of peels. This is around 8 oranges. Only peel the skin and not the white part. Now blanch the peels 4 times. Every time you need to take new water. This will remove the bitter flavor. Once that's done, transfer the peels into a blender and also add 100 grams of orange juice, 20 grams of sugar and 3 grams of salt. Now blend it still smooth and then pour it into a saucepan. Also add 2.5 grams of agar powder and while stirring bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Then pour it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. Once it's set, transfer it into a blender and blend it into a delicious and smooth cream. Now transfer it into a piping bottle and keep it in your fridge for later. Then take the remaining one third of the baked carrots and cut them in thin slices. Cut those slices with a small round cutter and keep the trimmings for next time to for example make the carrot leaves. Now transfer the rounds on a metal tray and toast the top to add a nice smoky flavor. Then brush some olive oil on top and keep them covered in your fridge for later. Now for the smoky beurre blanc. First the castrique. 
Clean four onions and cut them really fine. Then transfer the onions into a saucepan and also add 800 grams of white wine, 20 black pepper grains, 4 sprigs of thyme, the peel from half an orange, 15 coriander seeds, 100 grams of white wine vinegar and 3 clean cloves of garlic that are cut in half. Mix it and then let the liquid reduce for 80%. Once it's reduced, drain the castrique through a fine sieve and use a ladle to press out any castrique so you don't waste a single drop. Then pour 100 grams of the castrique into a saucepan together with 20 grams of cream and 5 grams of salt. Bring this to a boil. Then turn off the heat and while stirring add 200 grams of the smoky butter that we just made. Add it piece by piece and continue stirring till you have a rich and delicious sauce. If necessary, check for seasoning. Now we only need to finish the carrot. First cut some chives fine. Use it to season the carrot together with the orange peel cream, some olive oil and a couple drops of Worcester sauce. Mix this. Then take a small carrot and peel it all around. After, peel it in thin slices and let those slices firm up in some ice water. Then we can start to finish the dish. First, plate the tartare between two round cutters. Press it down and then gently remove the cutters. Now cover the top with the toasted carrots and pipe some of the orange peel cream on there. Lay three carrot slices on there and place two crispy carrot leaves in the middle. Then decorate it with some winter purslane and the dill and carrot leaf oil. And finally, finish it off with the delicious hot beurre blanc. Gently heat it up and if it splits, just emulsify it with a hand blender. Okay guys, that's it for today. I am very happy with the result. The dish looks absolutely beautiful. The colors are really vibing and I know it's still winter, but it looks like a beautiful, fresh and vibrant spring or summer appetizer. Um, I especially love the smoked beurre, uh, beurre blanc. That's really beautiful flavor and I think in combination with the delicious carrots that I've cooked in the salt crust. Yeah, I think that's a combination made in heaven. And the crispy leaves, a little bit of the, the toasted, the, like the toasted uh, carrot that's also cooked in the salt crust. And then just the dill and carrot leaf oil to freshen it up. I think it's gonna be a combination made in heaven. So let's just uh, dig in. Yeah guys, that's so good. The carrots, they're so rich because of the way we cooked it in the salt crust. I think it's a very cool technique to use the peels of the carrot. Um, very happy with that. And I must say, uh, it, it's balanced perfectly with the orange peel gel or, or cream. The, the sauce is out of this world. You can serve it as well with some fish dishes, maybe uh, like a steak tatar as well, because this, has so much umami and it has so much power. Um, yeah, this is just like a little vegetarian steak tatar. Uh, not the way that I first initially came up with the dish, but now that I look at it, yeah, you, you can compare it with a vegetarian steak tatar. Um, yeah, guys, like I said, very happy. If you want to support my channel, please subscribe. We are right now at 90,000 subscribers, so 10,000 more, and then we are at 100K. Can't believe it, so appreciate all the support. Please subscribe for more great culinary recipes. And as always, bon appetit.